I think increasingly students are becoming very conscious that they have to look outside of the institution and engage with the wider public. By being a shop from Rindo, inevitably the public's going to see the work. Um, and so it was an ex it was a great opportunity for that to happen where we don't have to actually create an exhibition in another space and it's more formal. This is it's a very informal way of showing people who work. Ambrose Hill uh, was reportedly a student at the Slade, so it seemed appropriate that we should try and do something in our bicentenary year to rekindle that spirit of collaboration. So we thought it would be interesting to sort of transport the activity of the Slade into Hills for a week to open the celebrations of the 200th anniversary. And we wanted to encompass, in a very small way, all the activities, so workshop activities, studio activities, installation, events, everything that effectively is happening up at the Slade, we would transport in a small way down here. This project really came from the idea of looking at intimate spaces within the home, so inside your cup or behind a radiator or in between towels or something, and then how that translates to objects in a store, ones that haven't been used yet. What I'm doing is um, the customers are breathing on the plates and then we're rolling it with ink and the um, condensation of the breath resists the ink and then we're acid etching and then putting on an installation on the wall. So by the end of the week the whole wall will be filled with the 200 uh, customers' breaths. So it's a good way of helping Heels celebrate their 200th anniversary. I thought since I was already making furniture and Heels has this whole history of furniture, it would be great to combine the two. Um, and so this piece is called 200 Units for 200 Years. The idea is to, to make a performance uh, out of painting and give the public on the pavement the chance to experience the paint coming on. So the photograph is first taken and you get a negative that's um, developed inside the camera. Um, and then the same camera is used to re-photograph the negative to produce a positive print. So that'll be a pos that's the positive produced from that negative. The customers that I've spoken to just love it. They love to see something, a little bit of retail theatre. It brings, especially the first week of February, is not a, a time when people expect there to be lots of action going on in a store. So they love it. There's also the other side where people say, well, where's the furniture? But I think they, they offset one another nicely.